What's up, family? All right, so we got a young man in Detroit who's in trouble with the popos for popping a couple of popos. A couple of popos that he mistakenly thought was trying to burglarize his mother's house. Now, this young man was black. And I'm mentioning race because in America, race matters. Anybody that think it doesn't is in denial or basically retarded. Let me tell you something. Skin tone in America often determines whether you're right or wrong. Goes like this, y'all. 19-year-old Jawan Alexander Plummer was arrested last week after shooting two Detroit police officers when he thought they were men attempting to burglarize his mother's house. In his arraignment video, a teary-eyed plumber entered his not guilty plea before the judge, who in turn seemed sympathetic to Plummer after the prosecutor tried her best to paint him as someone who purposely shot the men knowing they were cops. This case is very unfortunate and could have been much worse, said Wayne County Prosecutor Kim Worthy, according to Click On Detroit. We simply cannot and will not ignore the alleged actions of the defendant in this case. The victims could well have been a neighbor or a small child. The lives of these officers who were doing their jobs will never be the same, and we must hold people accountable for their actions. We must hold people accountable for their actions. In America, we must hold people accountable for their actions, says a prosecutor. Hmm. Worthy asked for not only a high bond, but also wanted Plummer to be placed under house arrest, both of which were denied by the judge. Kudos to the judge. Right on. Worthy alleged that Plummer fired the gun without looking out the window and alleged that the officers identified themselves. Plummer was at home with his mother and 14-year-old sibling at the time of the incident, and police state that the previous burglary calls were made from the home. Several calls of burglary were made to the police department on this date said Chief James Craig. In fact, three calls were made. One of the individuals in the house who we believe to be the 19-year-old male fearing for the safety of his family fired from inside of the house armed with a shotgun striking both officers. Pay attention, we're going to get back to that one. Plummer was arraigned on two counts, each of intentional disarm of a firearm in a building causing serious injury intentional discharge of a firearm in a building causing injury and felonious assault. He has also been charged with four counts of felony firearm. The gun belonged to his grandfather who had given it to his mother as protection. The fact that he actually injured someone on top of that police officers, it scares him to death, said Vincent Reed, his father. They've been looking at this house and that house, Reed said. He was in the basement and heard a noise on the side of the house coming toward the front. That's when Plummer fired a single shot through a front window, Reed says. His son was trying to scare away who he thought was burglars. A judge set bond at $25,000. The judge did not impose house arrest or a tether. Plummer will be back in court for a probable cause hearing on April 26th. Man, where do I start? So Plummer fired a single shot. The prosecutor wants to act like the boy tried to kill the cops, but he only fired a single shot. Okay, does that sound like somebody trying to kill or does that sound like somebody more like trying to maybe warn somebody or even shoot somebody, but not necessarily trying to kill two police officers? Hmm. So he said, they've been looking at this house and that house. This is what the father said. He was in the basement and he heard a noise on the side of the house coming toward the front. That's when Plummer fired a single shot through the window. Reed says his son was trying to scare away who he thought were burglars. He's trying to scare away who he thought was burglars. Scare away burglars. Okay. 
See, here's the problem with the prosecutor. The prosecutor said he purposely shot the man knowing that they were cops. And you really want to shoot some cops? Wouldn't you just shoot them and keep on shooting and get it over with? Why shoot a cop if you just going to just, just shoot and they ain't going to try to finish it? You know what they're capable of doing. You know what they're all about. Why would you not finish the job? And then she's trying to give them a super high bond to try to keep them in jail. She don't care about the situation, man, the circumstances. All she care about is the fact that she got somebody there who supposedly shot some cops and now she trying to get paid. She trying to be seen. She want to put that boy in jail for life. She trying to ruin his life. She know damn well if that was anybody else that that could easily be seen as a mistake. And something that a person shouldn't be, even, even though certain, certain mistakes you got to pay for, certain mistakes you shouldn't have to pay for. You could, you could say, I won't even say it was a mistake. I'll call it an accident. It was more of an accident than a mistake because you got a right to defend your home. If you think you're being burglarized, you got a right. What the cops should have done is rolled up in the driveway with the sirens on or something and gave, you know, gave the guy some kind of tip. You know, you can see those sirens from around the corner. So if he, they would have had the sirens on, you know, the boy could have, you know, saw that going on. And he would have immediately probably thought that, okay, this is probably cops, not not a burglar, not burglars, not burglars. You see what I'm saying? So, you know, the problem is that this 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 need to to punish, and prosecute, and put people in jail. Like, if the shoe was on the other foot, and the cops had came through. Looked through the window, saw the boy moving around or whatever, and shot him. Do you think this this would be a case? Do you think that they would be locked up? Do you think that they would be charged, especially that fast? Hell no, they wouldn't be charged. Show me a case where the cops mistakenly squeezed off on somebody that they mistake they thought was a a killer or a suspect or whatever, and they ended up in jail. It don't happen. So citizens who are not held to the same standard of training, that don't have training in conflict resolution and de-escalation situations, they're held at a much higher standard. If you're a citizen, you got to be perfect. You can't make, you, you can't accidentally do something. You can't be mistaken. Uh, you know, you can't be justified. That's even better because they don't even like to use words mistakenly. They like to use the word justified. It was a good shooting. That's what they like to say. It was a good shooting. It's a good shooting. The lives of the officers who were just trying to do their jobs would never be the same. Come on, man. See, you can't do the same thing that cops do and make the same claim and go home. You're going to get charged. So the police chief said, and this is what I meant by coming back to, to this, this part right here. The police chief said, in fact, three calls were made. One of, listen closely, one of the individuals in the house, who we believe to be the 19-year-old male, fearing for the safety of his family, fired from inside of the house. The police chief statement seems to support the uh, the, the defendant, right? The, 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 the police chief saying it straight up, straight out. He, he feared for his life. He feared for the, the, the safety of his parents. I mean, his, his mother and his, his siblings. He feared for the safety of his family. So he fired, <coughs> as anybody would do. If that would have been a police officer's house and somebody had rolled up like that <clears throat> on him, it would have been the same thing. Then they try to say that could have been a neighbor or a small child. What they're trying to do is set up the narrative so that when it goes to trial, they can have neighbors start to think, yeah, that could have been me snooping around his window with a flashlight. That could have been one of my kids snooping around his window with a flashlight. But it wasn't. It was a police officer 
snooping around with flashlights when they had other ways that they could have gotten the people's inside attention. You already know you got a, you're in a high crime area, burglary. People are being burglarized every day, several times a day. People should be on high alert. So knowing that and having that type of information, you should proceed with caution. Hey, man, I give it to you. In certain cases, very few. A police officer's job, it does get a little difficult. But it ain't rampant like you try to y'all try to act like it. Police officers got one of the easiest jobs in the world. All they do is ride around writing tickets and shit and breaking up arguments. That's all they do. And occasionally they pull out their weapon and gun down innocent people. Not that hard. Every now and then, shit ain't gonna go right. They're gonna get popped up and they're gonna come out with an L. But that's, ain't that's what you do when you sign up for certain kind of jobs? If you sign up to be a, a, a military personnel, if you sign up to, for the Army, you sign up for the, for the Navy, the Marines or whatever, and you get called, you get deployed, and you go out there, get your head blowed off, uh, do, do you, try to sue the, the, you try to sue somebody? You try to sue the person that, that blows your head off? You went out there in combat, you was trying to blow their head off. They got you first. I'm just saying, man. I'm just saying. You know, put yourself in the shoes of the other people too. Don't always try to just put yourself in the shoes of the officer. You know, for the good officers out there, man, I salute y'all. The ones that are cool, the ones that are good, that's doing your job. Hey, I salute y'all. But, you know, a lot of this, a lot of this, the things that, that these other cops are doing you know, just make everybody look bad. And it just makes people not have sympathy, not have empathy for when y'all take a L. So I feel like in this situation, the guy was right. The, the youngster was right. He defended his family. You know, he feared for that. He feared for his life. You feel for your life. It don't, it shouldn't matter if you, if a person is a police officer. If you feel for your life, you should have a right to defend your life. I mean, isn't that what cops do? All right, so y'all, if y'all like the videos that I'm putting out and you want to see more, join the movement. Go to patreon.com slash Willie D Live. The link is in the description. No more talk. What, what the haters talking about? Yeah. Order, Texas.